ninth place run with, I think, a car that the regulars, I think, aided a bunch. Unfortunately, the early exit for Fessler, who had to crash, not only a crash, but also a crash that led to a 7,000 euro fine, which I really don't think he deserved to be tagged with for that. And uh, let's uh, give credit to Porsche. They once again have the record of being the endurance kings, and they showed it again. And uh, be very curious to see uh, what Corvette uh, does from this, especially bringing out a brand new car uh, January 2020, March 24th at C8, and a new philosophy uh, with a uh, mid engine car and possibly a car that uh, is a twin turbo V6, uh, something that they are not used to running. All right, Matthew, we look forward to talking with you again soon. We'll see what happens this race weekend, and and uh, good luck on maneuvering around the golf course uh, this weekend, sir. <laughs> like I said, uh, don't forget, uh, for those in the Southland area, a lot of things are going to be altered as far as construction and all that stuff. So, again, plan ahead if you're ahead of the U.S. Senior Open. Make sure there are certain things, like, for instance, if you're going to bring in a bag, it's got to be a clear bag. Otherwise, they will not allow you to bring that in and several other things. And if you go to USSeniorOpen.com, they will have a list of the things you can bring in and the things you cannot bring in. And, guys, be respectful. I mean, we saw all these guys going, you're the man, all this stuff. Please don't do that. I mean, it's, it's tempting to do that on these courses to get your voice on national television. But please keep it civil if you're going to head down there. I mean, show the players some respect. I mean, that's something that really annoys me about the U.S. Open events is these fans just getting out of control for no reason and I think it's starting to affect some of the players and sometimes uh, that shot uh, ruins them and costs them a chance to win a championship so show the players respect if you are headed down uh, to South Bend with the war uh, next weekend Sounds like very good advice and Matthew you have yourself a good weekend we'll talk with you soon Anytime Tom Matthew Embry, our official IndyCar contributor, joins us. I'm talking IndyCar. We'll be right back. Tony Donahue. We're going to be talking some NBA drafts, some more IndyCar. Right back. Everywhere I go, they be like, nah, 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 nah. Watch me break it down like, The Air National Guard is a reserve component of the United States Air Force and serves alongside active duty Air Force members in times of a national crisis. In addition, the Air Guard serves the state and local community in a wide range of capacities. The reason people join the Air Guard is as diverse as our members and includes such reasons as a deep desire to serve their country, money for college, travel, new job skills, and the pride that goes along with belonging to the greatest military organization in the world. I joined because I felt a calling to serve my country, but I didn't want to be far away from my family. So the Indiana Air National Guard was a perfect fit for me. With over 95 different career opportunities to choose from and 100% paid college tuition to any state-funded college, why not give us a call? Call 1-800-841-3103. Or visit online at GoANG.com to find out more. Again, that's 1-800-841-3103. The Air National Guard, guarding America, defending freedom. It's double trouble, double the fun. At African Safari Wildlife Park in Port Clinton, Ohio. See the largest antelope on Earth, the giant eland, and the ugliest creature on Earth, the African warthog. There's so much to see and do, including the Midwest's only drive through safari. Feed the animals. See live educational shows. Feel the excitement. Have your picture taken with a python or cockatoo. Feel the adventure. Shop the Simba Lodge gift shop with items available from around the globe. Visit the snack bar or picnic facilities. Enjoy a pony or camel ride. Or cheer your favorite porker on to victory in the famous pork chop down. Bring your family to see the rare and exotic animals at African Safari Wildlife Park in Port Clinton, Ohio. Just take Route 2 to the Route 53 North exit and follow the sign. Only 17 miles west of Cedar Point via Route 6. Open every day, rain or shine. When you don't go to Geico.com, car insurance can be confusing. 
like Swedish techno confusing. Bark, bark, meow, meow. Dance with me, purple cow. Bark, bark, meow, meow. Ooh, you lovely cow. Geico makes it easy. With 24-7 access, all you have to do is go to geico.com and you can save money on car insurance. It just makes sense. Unlike, you know. Dance with me, purple cow. I like your mood. When you don't go to geico.com, car insurance can be hard. Like early 90s heavy metal hard. I'm yelling and screaming and I'm loud. Roar. Geico makes it easy. You can review and update your policy or report a claim on geico.com or the Geico mobile app. Because shouldn't we all have a little less stress in our lives? I'm not even upset about anything. All right, welcome back to the ballots rolling right along on a Saturday morning. My name is Tom Marcus El President J nine one seven eight eight nine eight five one six is our digits for standing by for Tony Donahue. Uh efforting to get him as as we say in the business. So uh we we will continue on. We will roll on down the road. Uh, appreciate you guys joining us today. Uh make sure you catch us on uh the Twitter bird at T Balance and Facebook, uh, really there's nowhere you can't find us because this is the one place where fanatics can come together, talk about their favorite teams. We bring you a, 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 an analytical, well, maybe that's a stretch, analytical breakdown of sports from a fan's point of view. That's you. That's me. We call ourselves fanatics. But we also try to give you uh, great interviews and sound bites. Uh, so, uh, hey, welcome to The Balance. Welcome to my kingdom. I am your leader. I am on fearless on loan from God. And we are continuing to roll on, roll on down the road, as they say. Let's talk a little bit about the NBA draft. Obviously, big night uh, for Zion Williamson. Uh, big night for uh, him uh, getting drafted uh, number one overall uh, with the uh, uh, New Orleans Pelicans. Uh, Pretty much expected that's what was going to happen. You know, you kind of look at – he came from Duke, and Duke, the, the, out of their top ten that you would have thought would have went to the draft, Zion's the only one that made it. Now, we can say what we want about uh, Coach K. I think he's a great coach. I think he's a good coach. But when you look at uh, Kentucky, for example – uh, their dominance in, over the last few years uh, in getting players to the NBA. And you look at players from Duke, just we'll talk Duke since Zion is uh, his, uh, his world, if you will. Not as many when you, when you compare the two. So there is a big difference just because a player is good in college does not translate them to be good in the, uh, in the NBA. So we'll see what happens with Zion. I mean, obviously I think a lot of people expect him to come out and, uh, you know, light the, the world on fire. We are still standing by for Tony Donahue. Uh, so hopefully we can uh, get him on here soon, but you know, but now when we look at Romeo Langford, for example, I think a lot of people thought that he was a bit of a, a bit of a disappointment, if you will, with, uh, IU, maybe because we overthought it, maybe, and we'll have Kent Sterling on uh, here in, in in a few minutes uh, to to talk about uh, the NBA draft and uh, talk about Romeo Langford. We we've talked with Kent about Romeo long before we ever went to IU, and uh, you know, a kid from uh, from Southern Indiana 
uh, became one of the top recruits in the nation, went to IU. We knew all along he was going to be a one and done, but there was that hope uh, that he would have stayed with IU just a little bit longer. But like I said, we knew all along that, uh, that he was going to be a, a, a one and, and done. So we'll be talking about that. We are efforting to get a hold of Tony. So multitasking there. I can't walk and chew gum at the same time. I can barely walk. So it is what it is. <laughs> I dig- I digress. But you know, you look at you look at um uh Romeo and uh, of course uh you know you, you gotta look at he's now he's now he's now continues that Indiana connection, if you will. Um so we'll see what happens with the Celtics. I mean, and and and, uh, and um, so we'll see where that goes. With <laughs> I am all over the board here, aren't I? It is what it is. It is what it is. Nine one seven eighty nine eight five one six is our digits. Joining us now is the infamous Tony Donahue of Tony D podcast on on uh, Podbean. Tony, how are you, sir? Good, man. How are we doing? Good. I just read your text. Uh, I don't know if I want to talk yep. about it. Uh, so, yeah, well, your mom, are, are you getting a new brother? No, 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 oh. no, 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 no. My, uh, <laughs> there's a, uh, I'm going to be a, I'm going to be an uncle for the fourth time. I'll have my first. Look at you. Here. Anytime now. Well, congratulations. Congratulations to you. Uh, I, the way it read, it was like your mom was in labor. I was like, okay, you're gonna be a vet. you're gonna be a big no, brother. No. All right, we'll roll with no, that. No, we'll roll no. with that. <laughs> <laughs> Tony, I, I appreciate you joining us. Let's talk about your brand new podcast. You just kind of got it launched and up and going. And I listened to it last night. It's it's pretty good, quick to the point. I like that. Uh, so uh, talk with us. It's called the Tony D Podcast. It's on Pod Bean. Is that correct? Did I say that right? Yes. Yep. You know that's that's a yeah, new app. Uh, I'm not familiar with that. But I'm glad you I'm glad no, you got it up and running. But it's uh it's one of those things where, you know, um I'm not very good at technology. Um so I had to go on a website to <laughs> the easiest possible, you know, um podcast that I could get to upload and it's real easy. You can upload it from your phone, go right onto your right onto the app and then it's there for you. So uh, looking forward to that, um, you know, looking for this. I got, I've been calling it fun employment, um, which means a lot of being bored. So I figured I would continue my podcast because I kind of start to do my own thing and uh, go, go, go my own way. And uh, hopefully to build that and, and just have fun with it. Well, who knows? You might be a Kevin Lee in, in waiting. You might be, the guy that can do just about everything, right? <laughs> uh, Kevin Lee, awesome. and uh, yeah, he. Uh, how about that? I mean, you, Kevin Lee, works his way up, and then NBC mm-hmm. gets the Indianapolis 500, and he's sitting there going, "Yep, that's going to be right up my alley." And uh, I think he was in the pits for the for the radio or for the TV broadcast this year. So uh, always good to see guys that you know kind of came from where I started as well. Uh, obviously, he was there way before I was. Um, yeah, kind of do one of those things um, and go from there. Yeah, and he was also part. Him and Robin Miller were part of the uh, uh, NBC Gold Pass, which is going on. But during the 500, uh, they were doing the the broadcast or the play by play, if you will, in the in the Gold Cast as well. So uh, that that's kind of an interesting uh, lineup for that as well. Well, let's uh, talk a little bit of Andy Carr while we're on the subject. Uh, obviously. Um, IndyCar at Road America. Uh, talk with us a little bit about Road America. We were just talking with Matthew Embry, our official IndyCar contributor about Road America. But I think it's it's probably one of the best road courses that they race on. And certainly, I mean, <laughs> the thing, it, the good thing about the road courses is if you get to be in the top three, there's your chances of winning. If you're past that, it's really hard to pass and come from behind to win. At Road America, we saw uh, Ryan Hunter Ray and and um, his his uh, his uh, teammate Alexander Rossi uh, do well in practice. Uh, what are your thoughts about IndyCar and Road America? 
World America is awesome. I've been there. Um, it's huge. It's 